So I got a tutorial request from one of my viewers and they were wondering how to use text in Blender. And specifically, they were wondering how to add fonts into the text. So in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to use text in Blender. I'm gonna show you how to change some of the settings of the text. I'm also gonna show you how to change the fonts of the text. And then I'm also gonna show you how to add materials and textures onto the text. So I'm just gonna delete everything here, press Shift A, and you can see that there is this text right here. So in object mode, it acts pretty much like a regular object. You can scale it, scale it like this, you can rotate it, you can grab it, pretty much everything just like a regular object. You can also add a material. Maybe you wanna make an emission, turn the strength up. So it works pretty much like any other object. But when you press tab with the object selected, instead of it going into the mesh editing, it goes into the text editing. So you can just write in whatever text you want. And I think we can all agree that this statement is very true. So if you just select the text, you can see that there's this little green A tab. And if you click on this, this is all the text settings. So there's a bunch of settings here. I'm just gonna go over the main ones that I use. So you can see that there's this resolution here. If I just zoom in here, you can see that if I turn the resolution down, it gets really weird looking unless you like the look of this. Um, but yeah, it makes the resolution very small. And if you turn it up, you can see, you can turn it up all the way to 64. And basically what it's doing is it's adding more geometry in the text. So you can just leave that at the default or turn it up to 64 if you want your text to be very smooth. All right, let's close this and let's open up the geometry tab. So you can see right here, if you turn up the offset or down on the offset, it's gonna change the thickness of the text. Now it acts kind of glitchy, so I usually don't use this, but sometimes if you wanna just make the text a little bit thinner, you can do that. I'm just gonna leave it at the default. Now there's also this extrude value. If you turn this up, you can see that the text gets extruded out. So this is really cool. If you wanted to do one of those text intros where the text like falls down on the ground, maybe there's like a concrete ground and there's like some metal textures and some cool lighting. I'm just gonna make it a little bit thick. So I'm gonna turn it down, something like that. And then also you can see that there's this bevel here. You can see here if I just turn up the depth, you can see adds a nice little bevel there. If you turn it up too high, it does get kind of bubbly, but then it also starts to kind of go through itself. So don't turn it up too high. I'm just going to turn it up kind of small, just something like that. And then also the resolution here, you could turn this up if you want the resolution of the bevel to be higher detail, but I'm just going to turn it down actually, because I don't really need that much detail. I'm just going to leave it at two, but you can see it adds that little uh, shine there and it makes it look a lot nicer. Okay, let's close this. I'm gonna open up the font here. So you can see here is the different font settings. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. So you can see that there's four different font settings right here. I just use the top one. So to add in a font, you just click on this little file browser right here and it brings up the file browser and you can just go and select whatever font you wanna use. So there's a bunch of different font websites online. If you wanna just look up font websites, you can download some free fonts. There's a lot of free fonts. I like to use a website called 1001fonts.com and I downloaded this font right here from 1001fonts.com. I'm just gonna select this and then click on open font. And you can see now it's added in that font. Now there is a size value here, but I don't really use this because I just select the object and scale it. So I don't really know why you'd wanna use this. And then there's also the shear here. If you turn this up or down, it's gonna shear the font. Okay, let's close the font now and we're gonna open up the paragraph. So you can see that there's this uh, left and then top baseline. So you can see that if I rotate the font, it's rotating it from this side and that's because the object origin is all the way over here. So if you wanna change this to like center, you can see that now if I rotate this, the origin point is now in the center of the font. So there may be cases where you'd wanna use left, right, or any of these. I usually just like to use center and then this, I'd probably just use center and that'll center it up and down. And then the spacing here right below it, you can see that there's character spacing that's gonna give more space in between the words. So if you wanna kind of squish it down more, you can definitely do that. And then there's the word spacing. If you wanna make more space between the words, you can turn this up. And then there's also line spacing. So if I click here, if I press enter, that's gonna go down here. And then I can just type in something. And then if I turn this up or turn it down, you can see that there's gonna be less space or more space in between the two lines of text. Okay, let's close this now. So now I'm gonna show you how to add a material onto the text. So let's go right here, click on new. I'm gonna go over to the shading tab and I want to add in a texture. So I'm going to click on this and then I have the node wrangler add on selected. So I'm gonna hold down control shift and then press T with this selected. 
What I'm going to do now is just select a rock texture that I want to use. So I downloaded this from cc0textures.com. I'm just going to select this and then hold down control and select these three. So I have color, normal, and roughness. Those are all the maps from the texture. And I'm just going to click on the principal texture setup. And you can see that when it adds in the texture, it looks pretty weird. It does look kind of okay over here, but it's really weird looking on the front. So there's a few ways to fix this problem. So what I do is I take the object here, plug this into the vector on the mapping. And then on each different image, what I do is I click on this flat, I change it to box, and then I change the blend value to something around 0.2. And I'll just do that for the others. So flat to box, blend to 0.2. It has to be the same on all of them so that the textures line up. And you can see that what it does is it kind of just takes the texture and throws it onto the mesh from all sides. But what if you want to use something like a wood texture where it has to be tiled correctly? I downloaded this from cc0textures.com. This is a wood plank texture. So again, I'm just going to select the color, normal, and roughness, and then add this in. Now, if I tried to do the easy texturing method that I like to use, if I plug the object into the vector and then do the flat to box and blend to 0.2. This method of texturing doesn't work for wood textures or textures that need to be UV unwrapped properly. And you can see that it's all weird. It's kind of going through itself and it just doesn't work. So I'm gonna change this back to flat and then I'm gonna change this back to UV into the vector. So what we need to do is actually UV unwrap the mesh. But you can see if I tab in edit mode, we can't UV unwrap it because it's a text object. So what we need to do is actually convert this mesh into a mesh that we can UV unwrap. So I'm going to press shift D and just move this up and just leave this up here just in case we want to go back to it. And then I'm going to select this and I'm going to go to object and then I'll go to convert to mesh. And then when I tab into edit mode, you can see that now the text object has now been converted to actual geometry. So now what I can do is I can go to front view or whatever you want to do and then select all of it and press U and unwrap. I'm just going to project this from view. And you can see that now when I do that, the texture is placed properly. So that's how to use the text feature in Blender. So I hope this quick little video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in a future video.